What's up YouTube? So in, in this video, I just want to kind of talk about what I've been seeing um, in interviews with the Dolphins players, like mostly post-draft and going up to OTAs. Um, it's It's been kind of great, especially on the offensive side. It seems like Mike McDaniel um, really does have a plan um, with all the players that he's picked up, which is great. Um, when we had Brian Flores, when we would draft or sign a defensive player, he would already have it in his head what role that they were going to that they were going to play, um, and he wouldn't make them do things that they were bad at. They would he would just highlight their strengths, uh, and that was great. And it seems like we're still doing that on defense. But the thing is, is we're also doing that on offense now, which is fantastic. Um, Brian Flores, it, it kind of felt like. Offense was an afterthought, to be honest. Um, it felt like we were just picking up guys without thinking about how they relate to each other. Because we would get people like Liam Eichenberg and Solomon Kinley and Austin Jackson. <laughs> just people who don't fit the same scheme at all. Because um, like... Austin Jackson, the best thing about him is his athleticism, so that would imply like a zone run. But then Solomon Kinley isn't very athletic, but he's powerful as hell, so that would imply more of a power scheme. Um, just those types of things. And then Tua, his favorite types of receivers is like speedy route runners, and we had all big-bodied receivers. So it, it just felt like we didn't... We, we, we didn't really have an identity, and we didn't... We weren't really meticulous with what we were signing. We were just like, oh, yeah, this guy looks okay, so we're just going to sign him without thinking about how he fits into the scheme. Where with Mike McDaniel, it feels like everybody, th th there's a plan for everybody we've signed. Um, we're going to highlight what they're good at and not make them do the things that they're bad at. So I'm, I'm really loving that. It seems like the players are really loving Mike McDaniel. Um, all of his interviews have been great too. Um, and I'm really excited to see what this offense does. And I'm hoping that our defense doesn't, um, take too many steps back because I, I am a little bit concerned about that, to be honest, just because we don't have Brian anymore. And at the very least, he doesn't have to coach a defense, no matter what you say. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, anyway. That's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, see in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.